Hello everyone. Imagine we have a situation where we are trying to check if a DOM element has one of several attributes. It doesn't matter if both are there, but we have data name or data job that we want to check. So this is an example of non-deterministic test or conditional testing, which is harder to write, but it still is possible. I highly recommend that the test knows precisely which attribute it's looking for. But if in your situation you don't know, but you know it's one of the two, here's how you write it. Let's get the first person by ID and we'll use a callback function. Instead of should have attribute because we don't know the attribute, we'll say should have our attribute. And we'll write a function called should have our attribute and you make you can make this function as complicated as you want and dynamic but in this case all we want to do we get an element and this is a jQuery object and unfortunately we cannot say for example data name because this will be confused by zero or an empty string so instead we'll use a plain dumb method so this is how we get the first DOM element from jQuery called has attribute data name. Or we also accept data job. So if one of these attributes is present, everything is okay. Else our should callback function should throw an error. Missing. Okay. So now it passed and let's see if it finds the second attribute for the second person element still passing uh, what about the third one the third person has neither of the attributes we're looking for and we retries and retries and retries and fails and now you can see the error that we threw in the command log so this is how you find one of the several attributes what you're looking for. But what if you're not looking for several possible attributes? What if you're looking for a single attribute with multiple allowed values? How do you check that? Okay, I have an example prepared right here. Let's just run it. So in this case, we have Joe and we want to confirm that this element either has this value Joe or Mary and we want to fail a test if it's anything else. So let's get the element by its ID and we'll use an assertion should have attribute. Okay. And we need to give the attributes name, which is data name. When you use should have attribute assertion like this without actual value, then it yields the value of that attribute, Joe, Mary, whatever else. And we can chain other assertions to check the value. So one of is my favorite assertion for this type of cases. And I'll say the value of this attribute should be one of Joe, Mary. You can give a long list of values. And look at this. I expected Joe to be one of Joe or Mary. And if we say change it to Z Joseph, then it fails because Joseph is not of values. So this is how you confirm that an element has either one of the attributes that you're looking for or that the value of an attribute is one of the allowed values.